Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Uh, so today what I'm going to do, I'll briefly touch about the page layouts, which is uh, another thing you should know from a certification point of view. Um, so when you install CPQ, right, so different page layouts associated with the CPQ get installed, for instance, uh, if you install, for instance, uh, for an account, you have CPQ account page layout. For a contract, you have a contract page layout. So we're going to look at it today, right? It sounds interesting. Um, now, if you look at an account, so this is my account record. So um, as you can see, we have this extra information here, contract co-termination, uh, preserve bundle. So this is a part of a CPQ layout. So let me go to the uh, object, and I'll show you the layouts that get installed. Uh, if you're not using CPQ, you won't see this layout. So um, I know it's not fancy, right? But it's still good to know. So this is account layout, so which get installed. Um, and so you, you can see all these fields here, right? Which I mentioned. Um, and then uh, let me go to the contract page. And I'll show you the layout that get installed. So contract object and page layout so the cpq contract layout so this is you know which get installed as well um so this is pretty simple uh let's go to the opportunity page layout and let's look at the page layout and you can see cpq opportunity page layout right um, let's look at the, let's go inside. It's going to take some time, which is fine. And you can see that this is a bit different, right? Um, let's look at the, the product one. You will see you will have the product page layout. A second you can see the product page layer right so so th uh, this is how it works so when you installed a package a cpq package you will get the page layout getting installed uh, and let's look at the code and so you can see that uh, it has the code layout that's fine and so as you can see, right, uh, all these, uh, you know, got installed uh, as a part of, the, you know, or. Wait a second. See, so all this you can see, right, uh, these got installed as a part of the CPQ, the different objects you can see. And you see cost, you have contractor price and the discount you know favorites so so if you haven't installed a package right i would highly encourage you to do so i mean there's not much to cover uh, on the layout side i just wanted to briefly touch about right you know the things that get installed especially the page layout so if you so for instance right um i i'm pretty sure you guys know which page layout is previewing so if you go to here uh, and go to edit page um, and then right um, hang on a second um, So this is it. This one is the training uh, account page layout, but that's fine. So you can change it to the CPQ, but uh, but just generally saying, right? So um, so this is how you can see it. Which one is previewed? So this is right now. It's the training one. So let's if you go to the account and let's look at the training one. I mean, I'll be honest with you, right? I mean, I. Uh, I mean, as much as 
I love CPQ. There are certain aspects of CPQ which is pretty boring. I mean, I know it's it's not really a motivating uh, kind of things which I'm saying, but you know, I'm a technical person, right? I mean, I do enjoy lots of hands-on. When there is not much hands-on, I find it extremely boring. So this is what you can see, right? You can. Um, so yeah, and so I hope to do a lot of hands-on as we go along. So tomorrow, what we're we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna talk about add fields to code line, uh, edits a field set, a field set. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Then we're gonna look at CPQ object relationship. Then we can look at the mapping custom fields between objects and translating CPQ records, then group uh, product selection by field. Uh, then after that, we will look at configure bundles, which is cool. Uh, product rules, we have already talked about it. Um, and then we're gonna you know, look at other aspects. Uh, we can talk about the pricings, you know, like pricing methods for CPQ, uh, subscription pricing, discounting tools, price rules, um, product pricing method, subscriber guidelines, uh, price rule, rule fields, price actions, lookup queries, uh, codes, right? There are a lot of things to cover, right? So we're going to talk about it, right, eventually. Um, after CPQ, I will do something technical, right? I mean, because I've done Service Cloud. Service Cloud was very good. Um, I will probably do um, maybe a developer one, right? Because i personally speaking, right, I find the functional certifications extremely boring because, I mean, it's all right. I mean, like like I said, I'm, I'm an architect. I, I do enjoy things to build it, but if it's get too much functional, you know, with no hands-on, it's extremely boring for me. So I'm not saying this to mo demotivate you guys. The CPQ has a lot of fantastic content, which we're going to cover, right? So today's topic, if you find it boring, my apologies, right? So that's being said, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about uh, in today's episode. Adios.